So, I am quite unhappy. Hello, hello, hello. Tuto here coming in on a search bar to bring you another video of War on the Sea. I had 11 minutes recorded. I was looking forward to it and I was having a great time. I figured I'd record a video in time. But now it's have some time to relax. Yeah, no. The fucking thing ran out of space. Somehow, even though I still have. Ooh, let's take a look. 527.8 gigabytes left. So, yeah. And yeah, we sunk to New Orleans and we sunk to Sims. We ran into them. Again. And it forced an engagement. Which, kind of stupid because even I know the enemy would not have forced it. Would not have forced an engagement if this... Which, these ships were already previously damaged running into the battleship. Now, they tried to run, but they started so damn close, it didn't matter. Man, she's dead in the water. So, yeah, I'm a little pissed off at that. So it'll probably be a little bit of a shorter video since I got shit to do before I go to work. No, they're missing because she's stopping. Thought she'd carry her momentum a little bit more. Oh, that worked. I'm running out of ammo. Uh, she should sink here in a second. A good final volley. Set a forward fire. And a uh, boom. Should put her six feet below. As you're given to death, it should put her a lot more than six feet below. Tough little ship. I say little. Mm, we'll shoot there. But I was saying about the uh, before it crashed, the uh, no, the recording fucked up. The New Orleans class, which is not this one, but it's this one. Oh, oh look. I wasn't yawning before, and now I yawn to start to fight. I don't know who. In a really nice class. Kind of okay, but I like how all of her preceding class, the Portland, Pensacola's, and the Northamptons look. Those are my favorite looking ships. Basically, like the Baltimore and the Cleveland's are two. I don't know. I, I mean, they're good, and I like how they look, but they just. I don't know. They're not as beautiful as this. Would you fucking die already? Jeez. Thank you. Good Lord. And now we're going to return home. So this fleet's returning home. I'm taking this fleet down here to recover the landing forces. Mainly on the count of fuck you. Just give me a second to talk. The land bases here will spot any enemy ships, and as long as it's during the daytime, we can kill them. Now, if it's nighttime, we're SOL, but I think we could do something about actually 
No, we're just gonna keep him here. I don't like that. Submarine Safa here. And they can do it. No, well, they have bombs, but they're gonna go kill the scout anyway, so no biggie. Let's see if I can take out the that looks like it's a uh, scout from the fleet that we just found. Oh, he's over here. Oh, taking a hit. Anybody gonna kill him? Good, you're actually going full speed for once in the chase. He's gonna make it out though because, you know, teleporting aircraft, which helps us as well, so, but I don't like it either way. Yes! <laughs> I cannot believe that worked. I thought it was too far out. But the second he started shooting, like my father started shooting. RTB. Yeah, so we're gonna replace this destroyer. Because she's already damaged and has her main gun gone. And we're gonna replace the other ones that sank. And, oh no, the ships aren't in. That's nice. I should find their aircraft. Probably that way. Yep. Easy. Not sure why I'm attacking the float planes. Oh well. Oh yeah, you're in that combat convoy. I don't know what to do with you until we get a new round of points. So we're gonna have to just wait. How many days until Shokaku's back again? Eight. Why eight? Oh yeah, because she had damage. God, I hate the fact that you cannot get those points back after a relationship. Because it, it, it takes away like, the whole point of releasing the damn thing. It's like, oh, it's, it's damaged. Let me release it. Get my point so it will be repaired. And take out something like her sister. No, it, it defeats the whole damn purpose. I do not like that change that they did. Yes, I know. It's all float planes. It's from that fleet, too. So. Okay. Fuck it. We're going to hunt him down. That works. Ah, 
I would love to speed up some snow in gun range, but. You can zoom climb to do it. Do a reverse split S. Or inverted split S. Or you pull up instead of down. That was quick. Go that way, one go that way. Yep, nope, you are to maintain your I got a bunch of specs on my screen, so it's like... Trying to find a damn needle in a haystack. Yeah, and then we we'll try and chase it down. Well, that works. That's how you do an intercept. All right, now RTP. Uh, while we're up here, might as well just uh, rearm. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Man, yeah, it should be enough to sink a transporter too. Hmm. All the fleets are back up here. Nothing to do now but wait. I'll use these points to replace the destroyers in here because this is kind of important. Kind of an important fleet. Rearm first, and then lease and repair. Then we need destroyers. Destroyers, not DEs. Alrighty. We have plenty of them. Okay. Two to those. Now we just need four destroyers, so two of those, which is 18. And we got plenty of the Yagumos. Oh, man. 
He is fine with us two less. Well, actually, we could do this. Hmm. That works. They're they're not like, these aren't bad ships at all. So these have technically one less gun, but not bad at all. Better than the other uh store escort. So That works. Now, yes, I understand. We have no surface radar. I'm aware of this. We'll just leave the line ahead. Oh no, we'll put it in circular column. And that way I will be able to know. But I'll just have to or I say, you know that I'll have just have to bleh, I'll just have to remember to switch them to line when battle comes or to switch their positions when they get attacked by aircraft. How's the invasion looking? Pretty good. Pretty good. It must be worth it to try to bombard the Santa Cruz Islands. Honestly, I don't know. We got all these ships up here, and there's nothing for them to do. You have nowhere to click. You know, I'm just going to release this entire convoy. Yeah. Let's see. 47. So 7 plus 7 is 14. 14. 28, 28 plus 28. Okay, so we're nowhere. Hang on. Trying to remember to try to figure out the math days, and I'm doing it by seven, and then finding out which one's the closest one. Whether we get paid anytime soon. It goes 14 to 21 to 28. And up. Well, you're down here. Oh my god, it did it again. I hate that so fucking much. And I have a very, very big problem with the way this game handles. way this game handles auto selections. It is so bad it is not even funny. There we go. I have I think that was going this way. Okay it was. I can move more down this way because that's where the navy US Navy likes to patrol around this like this. So the scary thing is is they still have 
Hornet. And Hornet, a Yorktown class carrier, carries a shit ton of aircraft. 37, 37, and 16. All of which are essentially better aircraft in every single way, shape, and form, except for the Wildcat in dogfighting. Than the uh, Japanese. The Dauntless carries a 1,000 pound bomb, more range, a little bit less speed, but can hit the fucking target and sink it. The Avenger has a useless torpedo, but can carry two 1,000 pound bombs, both armor piercing and can be dropped at a very high altitude instead of the Kate's one high, very highly dudded rate 800 kilogram bomb. Yeah, let's take a look what the let's take a look actually what the uh, Wildcats can carry or Wildcats the Avengers. So the horrible Mark 13 torpedo, which at the end became the best Mark, best one of the best torpedoes when they actually had to dive to get to their <laughs> their uh, optimal drop speed and then pretty much lob the damn thing. Like oh let me just dive and immediately start pulling up to evade and while oh while I'm pulling up yeet here comes the torpedo. Uh, it has depth charges. Has rockets, which are really, really good against submarines and lightly armored ships. Uh oh, and forget what I said. They have um what? Oh yeah, a uh, sixteen hundred pound bomb, armor piercing, not much damage, but a lot of penetration. Not as much as the uh one thousand pound. Armor piercing bomb of the uh, 177, but that's a lot less damage. So you probably want the 1600. However, they have the semi armor piercing. But did the valves have? Do valves have semi armor piercing? No. And no wonder why they're also so shit. So yeah, the, the valves are just horrible. Don't use valves. Just don't use them. Oh my god, is a semi armor piercing bomb? That's terrifying. Yeah, so don't use valves. They're completely useless. Yeah, the Avengers are terrifying. Uh, I might lose this fleet to aircraft. We'll see. But if that's the case, I will know exactly where Hornet would be. So, you know. And my brother and I would say when playing our Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, die for the Emperor. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it's such a horrible game. It's, uh, I mean, horrible in the f f form of morals. We, we literally bought a fleet and created a fleet just to be cannon fodder. Just take hits and be shot at. Ended up being that that fleet didn't come in, and our main hero, hero fleet decided uh, that it's gonna go and just fight, and we lost one of our best ships. But it was surrounded by enemy ships. Uh, the crew were killed, and the big boss was there. But we scuttled it, blew up half their fleet, and did a shit ton of damage to the boss. So noble sacrifice, truly names that will live on. That are worthy to be the protectors of the Emperor. I feel like the US Navy is in one of its hiatus regrouping. Which is nice. I I love that little time. Okay, there so we just got spotted by a scout plane. The hail. Have I seen anything? Hmm. 
weird. Oh, I must have. Okay, I accidentally clicked tactical. Okay, that was a little bit terrifying. But since I saw aircraft, I'm going to immediately move them to a better. Uh, would it be better this one or circular? I like three column, much better. So swap to you. Get with you. Okay, I'm using. Uh, let's make you seven. So two, three, four. That works. Although I want you to be that way. The it's in front. I like that a lot better. Okay. Now let's go see if we can find who the hell that was. I spotted us. All right, Mitsu. Heading this way. Go. Now it's 19th, so we're not going to spot anything. Oh, we spotted something. Because we teleported. Oh, it's this group. Let's go have fun with them. They'll eventually come over here, so. That was a good guess on my part. Like, they're not down here. They never operate here. It's always here. And occasionally when they're attacking. So you're to combat. Okay, so you head. I want you up here. I want all my convoys sort of just sort of stationed up here. Carrier wait to get her carrier back. We do have to be careful not to get caught by the heavy bombers of uh, New Herbies. But I think we can live. I mean, heavy level bombing up high altitude is never really that accurate. And again, in this game, it's. Found you! I should have enough time to kill them. Actually, do I? I, I don't. What's, let me check something real quick. Nope, I don't. I'm going to have to edit this now, motherfucker. I'm going to end it here. This is 2000. Thank you for joining me on this play of War on the Sea. Stay safe. And as always, have an awesome, awesome day.